Hi guys, we don't expect the Daily Express to tell the truth. The headlines about Brexit are normally about some major win and then a quick look at the article itself reveals it to be just a massive lie. But perhaps the probable bots that write the stories at the paper are understanding that some Brexiteers will actually read past the headline so they have to keep the misinformation all the way through. One story they ran a few days ago was about a major Brexit boost from reshoring. This is where businesses that had originally moved operations abroad bring them back. The article quotes a report from a British organisation called Income UK, which provides training and apprenticeships. But what they said in this clip is somewhat different to the pro Brexit Express article. So, on reshoring is a massive piece for the UK post pandemic. You know, we, we all thought, well, look what we can build and make at home. And we thought, well, hang on, this is going to make us stand up and we realised, really, we need to do more on UK shores. And the statistic that came out, I actually thought it was going to be flip reverse. 70% mm. of companies are not engaging or can't actually reshore the work from abroad. Uh, so that means 30%. I thought there was 70% would be reshoring work back to the UK. Mm. I mean, what, why do you think that is, Paul? Why do you think that people, like organisations are still struggling to reshore product back to the UK? There's a, there's a host of things, I would say, from being out and about. I think one of the, the, the two main things, skills gaps, that we, we haven't got the skills to be able to compete on price and lead times and... Well, let's take tool making, for instance. Yep. There's a lot of tool making when abroad to China over a period of time. And, you know, there was questions about the quality of the tooling that was being made. Organisations were still doing it out there, bringing it back and re-manipulating the tool to actually get it working because it was still more productive than building it on UK shores. There is some resurgence to actually bring that back, although quality is improved now. But, you know, the, the legalities of working, you know, cross countries after yeah. post-Brexit now and yeah, the barriers and the knowledge to be able to do that, like you say, post-Brexit, companies are fishing in the dark sometimes because they haven't got the resource to be able to tick off what needs to be ticked off to do business up yeah. across the water. There you have it. You know, they're talking about skills here and they're talking about barriers to trade, the paperwork, the requirements to sell goods into the single market. So there, there will be small businesses in Britain who will will experience some reshoring. They'll be bringing operations maybe back from China, back to the United Kingdom. But then when they start to look at, when they start looking for the, the skills uh, they need, for the staff they need, they can't get them because of the ending of freedom of movement. And when they want to sell some of those goods into the single market, for example, to France, Germany, Italy, other countries in the EU, of course, they're going to run up against a brick wall. So, you know, the, the Express article tries to sell this idea that everything is wonderful, that, you know, there's a, a massive amount of uh, reshoring going on. Yes, there will be reshoring. Some businesses will uh, return some of their investments to the United Kingdom. Some of the production will return in some cases, maybe in relation to the United States or in China. But if they're producing stuff for the European market, I think very little of it will be reshored to, to Britain because it doesn't make much sense. Unless the business is downsizing and they say, look, we're not going to focus so much on the European market, we're going to try and focus more on the British market. But that's not a Brexit benefit, it's the opposite. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what do you think about all of this? As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.